Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. And a special happy birthday shout out to the guy who is responsible for this shirt. Uh, his birthday is today, if you're watching this on any December 30th in the future. And he is the reason that, one of the reasons I started playing golf and I'm sure a lot of people out there. So, happy birthday, big cat. Today we're gonna talk about how to improve your golf from right at home. We're just gonna start with the basics short putting for right now. And we're gonna do that with an exercise mat if you have, uh, things you should already have, golf ball, sleeve of golf balls, and a ball marker. Uh, we're gonna use the ball marker for angle of attack. We are gonna use the spare golf ball for arm structure. And we are going to use the sleeve of balls for face angle. So uh, many of you may have putting mats and then you wouldn't have to use this setup in any case, but if you don't, uh, let me introduce you to just setting up a mat. Uh, exercise mats are usually pretty affordable and they usually are low enough that they can replicate the speeds of uh, most screens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my sleeve of balls like this. I'm gonna keep two inside and then I'm gonna place the bottom flap or the long flap of the sleeve underneath my mat and now I have a fixed point for my hole that I can work on. The reason this works is because it's the size of an actual golf ball for it to fit the actual ball in the sleeve. The golf ball as far as I know is about 1.68, 1.7 inches in diameter and the hole is uh, four and a quarter. So you could fit two, two and a half golf balls across the width of a hole. Uh, that's great, but uh, if you really wanna hone in, really wanna dial in that accuracy, having a target that is literally the width of a golf ball is gonna train that. So we're gonna do that by practicing some small putts. When I say small, I mean one, two or three feet. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is just see how many in a row I can make on this line. So now I'm looking inside the box, looking inside the sleeve, and all I'm doing is focusing on the lines on my putter and making sure I can rotate my shoulders back and through to get that ball inside that sleeve. But what if that were a problem? If I were to miss to the right, then I would know, okay, my face is closed. Conversely, if I were to miss to the left, I would know the face of my putter is trending open. Just knowing that and knowing your tendency, if you were to putt multiple putts is great under pressure. Knowing the type of habits you have and how you can work to get back to square, be a little less closed or be a little less open. The second thing I want to talk about is structure in putting. There are some people who use a little bit of wrist in their putting, but for too many golfers, I see excessive wrist motion. And what happens here is sometimes on longer putts, you start striking the top of the golf ball with the bottom of the putter, and uh, it makes your distance control very difficult. You'll hit a 30 footer 15 feet, or you'll hit a six footer 10 feet. And what we want is to strike the same point in the putter every time. And we can do that by making sure we have good arm structure. So it may feel a little bit weird, but right in the nook of your wrist, you're gonna choke down about an inch and a half, and you are just going to lock the inside part of your forearm to the putter, similar to the arm lock method that Bryson DeChambeau has made popular. And we're just gonna practice some putts with that and you will realize that your lead arm, right arm for lefties, left arm for righties, your lead arm is gonna feel very stable, very secure, and it's almost like you are deliberately starting the ball on the line you wish. And that is what we want for putting. If you have a left or right putt that needs to start six inches left, you wanna make sure that that ball is starting six inches to the left. So this drill is great for that. If you find sometimes you get a little too risky and your distance control on the course is questionable. 
in a perfect world, if we are hitting up on the golf ball, then it should be slightly ahead of the center of our stance. There are many preferences across the board. I'm simply sharing mine. And if we're hitting up on the ball, then that means this ball marker should not be moving at all. So if I get this golf ball just forward to center, and I can miss this ball marker, no clip, no hitting it at all, then I know that I am hitting up on my putts and I am getting that solid contact I need. If you're someone who gets down on their putts a lot, you're going to take that ball marker with you and uh, you're going to have a very inconsistent launch off your putter. You'll find sometimes your putt bobbles or it dives into the ground and really affects the speed of your putt. And our goal here is to match the right line with the right speed. So we got three great drills for you. Uh, the first one was setting your sleeve of balls as your target. That narrows the focus, makes you pay attention to face angle. Number two was making sure you had good arm structure. It allowed us to use just our shoulders and a bit of our obliques at the side here to make this pendulum motion, just rocking back and through. And when we place the golf ball on top of the ball marker with the ball a little ahead in our stance, that allows us to hit up on the ball and produce that roll that makes your ball go inside the hole. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments. If not, I will continue to produce content every week. Until then, happy holidays and have a great week.